Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I am going to be going ahead and moving forward and putting together my intro into my October journal. Uh, one of two reasons. One, we've been working on it and um, going through the um, kind of the series of how I get started on a journal. But also um, I'm going to be at a retreat, a crafting retreat. Um, and so I'm going to be taking my October journal with me because I'm going to be there on October 1st and I want to go ahead and have that set up and ready to play in. So um, so I thought I would go ahead and get be ahead of the game. Yay! Um, for you guys that have ordered this or part of the um, part of the sticker BBG Girl subscription, um, I have got them printed and cut and I will be mailing them out tomorrow hopefully. So um, thank you so much for being part of the BBG Girls. This month we're doing Hocus Pocus and um, I'm excited for the second movie to come out. In fact, today I think I'm going to watch the first movie. Um, I'm still getting ready for the retreat. Um, so I, um, I thought I'd pop that in and just kind of have a play day and, you know, in between, you know, laundry and all those fun things. <laughs> so, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The other thing I wanted to do today is, um, go ahead and create my string closure. Uh, some of them I do this for and some I do not, which is basically punching holes and creating a string where I can tie this because this is my current journal. You guys look how wonderful fluffy that is. It's so gorgeous. And um, I definitely am going to be taking this with me as well. Um, so I want to just kind of have a closure just so it doesn't get opened and when I'm traveling or I mean I'm sure I'm going to have it in a pretty secure spot but you know stuff getting in here and and ripping things up I don't want that to happen so I'm going to go ahead and create a string closure for both of these journals and so I thought I would show you guys how I do that it's very very simple but um anyway let's go ahead and get these ladies into my journal I I know we had talked about doing other backgrounds so I thought what I would do is just kind of show you guys some of the things that I use as I go along in the journal with me's and things like that. Um, so this is this is actually um, when you cut a dress. What's this called? A pattern, pattern material. And what's fun about this one is I was when I pulled this one out of my I have a stack of them. It actually has red and green on it, which I was like, oh, that would be like perfect for Christmas. So. I was like, oh, well, that would work. But anyway, but we're going to go ahead and use it into our our journal. So, and I'm just creating, I'm just going to actually literally just glue this into the background. Um, and um, if you guys haven't been following along, this is a composition book. Um, it's actually from Crafty Girl um, on Amazon. And I've just kind of made it my own by adding different elements to it and uh, ripping out some pages if you're interested in how that is done I will leave the link below to the actual um, video that does all that so I'm just actually going to be adding some glue on here again I feel like I'm such a I'm ahead of the game so much on this since we did that series I'm feeling really good about my October journal and so so yeah I'm excited so I'm literally just going to, sometimes I use my little roller. I saw it the other day and it was like by the coffee bar, you know, <laughs> not sure why, but um, I don't think it's in here. My little roller thing. Oh, here's a little one. We can use it. And again, you don't have to have a roly thing. Uh, you could use, I like to use a ruler or your hand. Your hand works just fine too. So, um. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this off. Oops. I'll try not to cut anything in the meantime. But these material, I mean, they go a long way um, if you're using them like this. Because there is so much in one packet. I pick them up periodically if I see them at like garage sales or estate sales or something. One, I love the covers of them. And I actually signed up for a class in December that's being put on by my friend uh, Paula G. And she um, over at Little Craft Place. So if you're in Texas and you're in the Houston area and you want to do a class on junk journaling, well, there's one available. Um, I'm also uh, 
I'm getting ready to do, when I get back from my retreat, which Paul is helping me with too, it's at the Whatever Craft Place. If you guys have never looked at that, oh my gosh, you're in for a treat. Uh, you have to go check out their website. They do retreats, but their whole entire, her whole house, her whole retreat center is all rainbow and vintage items. It's just, oh, I'm just, that itself is like amazing. I can't wait to see it. So, um, which um, I thought I would show you. So basically, if you're not familiar with, I do put on retreats. Um, I've just been doing them for a while. I used to do a lot of planner meet meetups and things like that, but I started doing retreats. I really didn't know if I could do it, and um, so yeah, I've been doing them for I guess two years now, and we're going to be doing another one um, in um, next April. Most of them, this is the first one I've ever done out of state, you guys, so that's kind of going to be fun. This I'm using is actually like a washi masking tape from Dazio. I need to get back over there. I need to get some folders um, from them. But anyway, I'm just using that. I love the wide wideness of it. It just kind of adds another, like I said, it kind of keeps it from the, just from fluffing up and stuff like that, so... So that is the reason I'm putting it here. You can always like even do a lap over here. I'm really into wide washi tape. You guys, I think I mentioned that before. Um, because it, it since I do most of my washi and edging and stuff like that, it just kind of gives that extra, it has that extra, um, you know, wideness, so it really gives you gives you room to fold over your your washi tape. I'm just going. The reason I'm doing that is that uh, material that um, just to kind of do more of like a secure. I'm using it for a purpose, not just for beauty. <laughs> Uh, just to secure that top down, it was kind of fluffing up there a little bit, but again, you know, being a junk journal, you can have things that are like coming apart and all the fun things, so I don't know where my lid went to my glue, but we will find it later. Okay, so, you guys, I've got to clean my desk off. Um, oh, there it is. I'm going to, actually, I thought about doing a video of me reorganizing my desk, but then I'm like... That would be a really long video unless I sped it up or something, you know. But I have I want to recreate my backdrop. I have a bulletin board, um, and so I'm gonna I want to kind of recreate that, make it cute again, and use some things that I've received at Happy Mail. So, okay, off subject, but here we go. We're back. So this is we're gonna do. We did the background of this again. This is pretty basic process. Of just getting my sticker off here without ripping anybody's hair off. I uh, was playing with some stickers last night and I ended up like, I don't know, I got too aggressive, I guess, with the stickers and I ended up ripping my poor girl's head off. It was terrible. And so I had to like somehow manage to put it back. I mean, I was able to, it was a clean break. <laughs> I was able to put it back together. What's happening here? Okay, just stuck a little bit. It's weird how these stickers work. Sometimes they're just easy peasy, and other times they want to give you a hard time. Okay, so I'm going to put them here. I definitely want to make sure there's room for October on here. So let me go ahead and pull October off. Make sure I don't lose any of the letters. You know, I could do October over here. It's already over here, but... I just loved how they turned out, if I do say so myself. <laughs> 
I do. I was like, my daughter was like, why is her mouth? I said, if you look at all the pictures, because I did go online and to, to kind of get a visual. I said, watch her mouth. Her mouth is always down in that. A lot of times her mouth is down in that you know, or a scowl or look. And um, she goes, oh yeah, it is. And so, if you're wondering why her mouth is like that, go check out, Google Google it and, and see. Why are these two stars not cut? Uh-oh. I didn't have, must have my cut settings on these. I, I'll have to check the ones I already cut. I hope, I've been having such an issue. Anybody that has a silhouette, you guys, I love making stickers, but that is the arch enemy of making stickers is dealing when you have a silhouette problem. And I had one. So, okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Just going to put in little backgrounds. Probably need to add some glitter or some gold. A marker of Faber Castle glamorous gold it says um, let's see if we have some black this is a brand new marker Again, you know, we can always add things as we go along. Let's see here. So we're at that point where these are done. And that's it, you guys. I mean, like I said, it's just a basic. I like since I've done already so much. Um it's it's great. It's great. It's a great easy um fixed. So you know, I'm on the fence, you guys. You know how I I am constantly mentioning this in every video and I'm sure you guys are like okay we've heard it <laughs> but I lose these actually I started putting them in a box that I kind of carry around and that helps so I'm going to come if you guys have an idea of how I could like I used to carry these in a binder let me see if I have a binder handy because um that would just make I don't have one available here on my side but I used to do like a binder and then have the binder with me. And then it was like, gosh, carrying that around. It was like another extra component. So I, that's when I started cutting up the stickers. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't, I, I don't want to create more. But it, this time, if you guys have some ideas, let me know. What do you guys do to keep up with your lettering? Do you have like a different folder, different binder? Um, again, it doesn't bother, like I've, if I can remember to stick them right back where they go, but um, lots of times I'm playing and I'm in my journal and I end up just end up leaving them on the table. They get under stuff and that drives me crazy. I also thought about which I I really wish I could go through the month and like go ahead and get it all set up and that way every day is already got set up but sometimes I use two pages for like special events you know and I don't want to like number my pages and then oh I wanted to have two pages for this because you know it was a special event or there was more to document that day than just on one page or so that's the other thing um, that I don't want to, I guess, make it where I'm limited on that one page because I already added the numbers, etc. So, we're going to do this for now, and now they're all in its place, and I should be able to find them, right? <laughs> yes, 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 that is so true. And um, I love this little hocus pocus, but I don't want to, like... I almost thought about using it on the actual girls, but I hate to like cover them up. And then I could use this actually on the day that the movie comes out. I gotta look that up. I'm not really sure when. 
we're just going to cut those down. And actually, I'm going to stick them in this little pocket here. And Lord, hope I find them whenever I'm ready to use them. Right? What's in here? What did I put in here? What did we put in here? Oh, journaling cards. Okay. I hope I remember where I put that. Okay. All right, you guys. That was a super fun. Now I'm ready to go. Oh, no, no, no. That's right. We're going to show how we're going to do the closure. This is some extra paper I want to use. Okay, so where is my um, handy dandy... Oh, yeah. It's time to clean the desk. Handy dandy... Um, hole puncher. Okay, so again, I do an estimate, you guys. I don't, um, sometimes it's good to do this early on. And I just really, because that way you're not dealing with so much fluff in between. But again, I kind of estimate. And my, it's going to be a little off, but like I said, I'm doing it more for a purpose of, I don't want my, I don't want my page to, I mean, my book to get messed up. So I've got out this pink crinkly ribbon. I love this ribbon. It's, I buy this from an Etsy seller. I will try to remember to link her below. Or it's called binding ribbon. I know even um, Never Hopeless Elizabeth, she makes her own. Uh, if you Google her, I'll try to remember to link that video too. Um, you can make your own crinkly binding. And I literally, I fold it in half where it's the loop here and I just pull it through. Ta-da! And you could add, with me having so much, like this is thick, it has paper, it has sticker paper and it has the um, masking tape. I'm not worried about it ripping. Um, see how much I had to put this inward? I mean, it's, it's pretty far. But... My my journal is so chubby. I thought I cut cut another piece. Oh, there it is. Um, that it's gonna take. Um, this might be a little weird looking. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna run that ribbon through there. Of course, you're not gonna be able to look at it, and there is a it's a purpose. Let's see if I can not make it so strange looking. Oh, that's not too bad. I was worried about that ribbon being on there. And now, I feel so much better about tying this together, plus it makes it cute and more pink and pretty and, and now I can feel, I feel more secure about it and traveling, plus it adds a little something something. <laughs> okay, so let's do our Halloween one. And again, endless possibilities. I'm going to actually use this because I don't have any thin gingham, but I do have this. I still bought out the Hoblobs, I think. I don't think it was on clearance. They had a ton, ton of their, I will see, I don't know, because this was like 99 cents, you guys. Always check the back. I want to say this was too, but I don't see a pricing on it. But always check that back area behind the... Um, behind the, what do you call it, uh, material, they always have like clearance stuff. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit more easier to, oh goodness, I have my pocket so I'm going to have to be really careful with that. Again, I'm just going to kind of estimate it. If you are need to have it right in center, please get your ruler out and you can... Oh. Again, you could come in here with a um, um, eyelet. create a more and I have black so we're going to do that I 
a more secure hole where even though I don't feel like this would tear at all because of all the, the thickness of the material Ta -da. and now you have a secure eyelet and that makes it kind of fun and adds another texture okay and then we're gonna eyeball oh we got the thing see again it's the fluff is un over but that's okay I don't know if I should go I don't think I should try to um, put an eyelet through that that pom-pom material I don't think that would work Oops. you guys I've had these eyelets probably for 20 years I'm not kidding you it was when I lived in Austin like and it's been almost 20 years since I lived in this one house that had a scrapbooking store by it and I bought these there it, it's like it's weird how um, things come back you know what I mean like you eventually will use your supplies if you have the space to hold on to them but I don't know I've always oh no these are from Hobby Lobby I do have some pink ones I think that are from that store but oh, I'm about to do a big that's kind of like my goal this year I'm going to be doing like a big um, clean out and get more organized and used up my my things that I have on hand okay Same thing, run it through, make a loop. This I gotta fold up a little bit to do it through that eyelet. I could actually just maybe I won't make them as long but I'm gonna keep them as long but actually just put pulling these two together I mean that is that's good hold right there I'll probably when I go to probably put it up on the shelf make it a cute little bow Somehow spread those folds out. There we go. But for now, since I'm going to be using it, I'm just going to have them dangle out like that. Yay, you guys, we're ready. We're ready to go. We've got our journals, so I'll be bringing both of these journals. I thought I would kind of like show you guys how I pack too, because I bought this these cute little bags, um, and I want to decorate them up with the hot glue gun and all the things. And so I'll I'll come on here and show you guys my bag that I'm gonna set up to bring. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.